Hey everyone, it's Cam, and as you can see, I'm in a different location in the house. This is kind of like the social area, but anyway, I just finished another week. It's Sunday, so another week is only starting in one more day, so this is going to be the hardest week coming, but let me talk to you about this past week. Pretty much the whole of the week I was doing like odd jobs. I was I was mostly helping with containers and hanging baskets with containers. I was pulling up some trees from old containers and putting new trees in or new plants. I was planting different herbs and spices, planting different flowers, all sorts of things. Uh, with hanging baskets, I set up some where I had different flowers in it, uh, others where I had like a fern and some flower bulbs, and with those they will probably be the ones that you would see in the parks uh, early to like early mid summer. So I will kind of get to see those grow and then be set up, but Outside of that, it's more of how they plan things, because I know sometimes things don't work out as planned, and maybe they end up being placed out on um, late summer, early fall. Uh, this next week is going to be crazy, though. A lot of things I've done were all, like, planting and setting up and now it's going to be the install as of right now the 16th of february they've already started install of some sections of the flower and garden festival though i will be helping with some of the continuation of the install of some of these things that were started this past week but i'm pretty much going to be helping install like topiaries and a bunch of flower beds. A lot of the install is just that. It's just the topiaries and flower beds and some of the like other aspects of like containers and uh, any like trees that they're going to be planting in some of the beds. I'm not fl looking forward to it because tomorrow it's a 3 a.m. start which means I have to get up at like 1.45 just to have the time to actually like wake up, have some like coffee or uh, short like snack style breakfast. And Tuesday onwards, I'm not actually sure how long I'll be doing it, but Tuesday onwards I do the midnight shift, which means I pretty much have to sleep the whole afternoon away and wake up at like 10.30, 10.45 and since I'll probably be somewhat tired I'll probably have to have coffee which I've never really had coffee after uh, I'd say after 8 p.m. I've had coffee at like 7.30 and been able to sleep fine but since I actually have to be awake I probably should make sure I'm as awake as possible and you know drink some water and I'm not sure what happens after I finish this install all I know is I move on to more of the maintenance which I think means I can have schedule a schedule that means I will be uh, working in the parks for two of the days or three of the days and then the other days I'll be working behind the scenes in the landscape yard or I'll be working early when there isn't any guests in the parks. Like I said, I'm not looking forward to this upcoming week but hopefully after install it's a breeze and then I have to do at least three tours for the Flower and Garden Festival and while I'm kind of nervous about it because it's a three hour tour I feel kind of like I'll be good and I can kind of tailor things to what I want to say or at least what people may want to see. 
you know, skipping certain points or elaborating on some points and some of the areas while kind of just skipping over or skimming through some of the other things. Of course, with me not saying anything, this this whole video almost sounds a little like skippy and skittish and a little like disorganized, but don't worry, I I like going off on tangents. But I'm, I think after all of this, I'll be a lot better with my public speaking and like flower plant knowledge because I, I haven't done much in terms of flowers and trees and while Floridian flowers and trees in the landscape are far different than New Jersey flowers and trees it'll probably help me to be like okay there's the sable palm in such and such area or the date palm in another area but then also the camphor trees in one spot and comparing it to New Jersey the, there would be like the pine trees, the oak trees, the maple trees and in terms of flowers in the landscape a lot of the things that are down here right now are more of the summer flowers for up in New Jersey although a lot of the even summer flowers down here can be grown up in New Jersey they don't really grow as well because New Jersey is slightly cooler even though it can, it can get to some of the more medium temperatures down here. Like I know up in New Jersey it can get up to like 100 degrees but that's a very rare occurrence but it often gets up to 90 something. Of course that's during the summer and not during the winter. Right now it's probably anywhere from 20 to 50 degrees up there and right now it's anywhere from like 55 to 88 degrees down here but of course there's also the humidity playing a part so up in New Jersey it's very cold and kind of dry and down here it's very warm and quite humid and it gets a lot more humid in the summer of course as many people may know of the Floridian rain showers that last maybe just an hour but it's like you kind of see oh there might be rain today and then half an hour later after the whole area has warmed up it just downpours and if you're in the parks a lot of people will run frantically either out of the park into a store or into a bathroom and pop out with ponchos or rain jackets. I think some people even have umbrellas, though I'm not I'm not sure if I've seen many of those. I know there's many parasols though, but that's mostly because some of the pavilions have like a parasol artist where they have um, parasols and then they design them and make them custom to the person purchasing said parasol. Anyways, it's enough of my rambling. If you want to subscribe up here and watch a video that YouTube suggests down here. See you in the next video and hopefully I'm not dead by then. That's just a joke. I'm not actually going to be dead. It's just I'm not used to the midnight shift or graveyard shift as some people say.